This is The Sim Pit. I'm your guest host, Dave Blair, but the real star of today's show is iRacing. So, I'm recording this uh, January 1st of 2021, and I've been doing a lot of thinking about iRacing, and um, basically, I have a lot of friends that are still racing in, say, Sim Racing System, Assetto Corsa, or um, maybe they've gone on to ACC or Race Room or other things like that, and they're really, they they don't want to spend the money for iRacing, which I, I totally understand. I was in the same boat. Um, actually, somebody, uh, Fajita Joe, had given me a year free of iRacing, which, thank you, Fajita Joe. Um, and that's what got me into it, because if I had not been given a, a subscription to iRacing, I'm not sure, I probably would have pulled the trigger eventually, because of all my friends at the Sim Pit and um, iRacing is very uh, heavily featured in there uh, in that group. So basically, I probably would have gotten into iRacing eventually. It was just a matter of time. Um, but no, when I wanted to talk about uh, getting into iRacing right now. Um, there's a lot of YouTubers that are coming into iRacing. iRacing has gotten a big influx of people because of the shutdowns and um, iRacing being on TV. So there's a lot of new people coming in. And I think that you're really doing yourself a disservice if you think about iRacing as a game. Because it's not a game. It's a service. So you can sign up for a year and it will cost you uh, half price if it's your if it's your first time signing in up for the service um, but so that would be fifty five dollars and everyone knows the best time or the, the when you get a discount is on black friday but what i would say is now is a good time to buy in at fifty five dollars uh... with their half off for a brand new uh, user and again you need to think of this as a service not a game um, now if you were to go out and buy a brand new game they're like sixty dollars uh, brand new or they're talking about even going up to seventy dollars some games are seventy dollars um, so I think the value is there if you if you just wanted to try it out now again I didn't go into iRacing I was a little intimidated at first but um, I'm going to give you some suggestions. Um, so if you're if you're brand new to iRacing, you can get in for fifty-five dollars. That'll get you a year. And what you want to do, say if 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 it were me, I would buy in now. And if I liked it, I would get another year on Black Friday, because that's when the discount is. Uh, but again, that gives you all this time and. What I recommend is a couple things. Do not buy uh, any other content. So don't get in there and buy all the cars that you want and all the tracks that you want. That's not the way to do it. So what you see now, this is an advanced Mazda race. But what you'd want to do is just race the rookie Mazdas, which is where everybody starts out. If you're into road racing, okay? so. There are four different disciplines in iRacing. Um, I particularly like the road racing, but there's also NASCAR, there's dirt oval, and then there's dirt road. So, depending on what you're interested in. So, I mainly do road racing, but I also do uh, NASCAR racing, which I have been to one NASCAR race in my whole life. I found it extremely boring. I was not interested in NASCAR racing. But um, when the Sim Pit decided to do a NASCAR series, I really got into it, and it is so much fun to do. Um, you know, when you're doing 180 or 200 miles an hour, and you're bumper to bumper and door to door with a bunch of other people, it's really exciting and intense at the same time. Uh, you will be surprised at, at um, you know, if you take it seriously, how. Um, how much adrenaline and how exciting it can be to actually do it. 
So for me, a lot of a lot of sports, I I don't really enjoy watching sports. I like playing sports. But anyway, um, so the recommendation that I would make is to do the rookie Mazdas, and also if you're a fan of open wheelers, they have the Skippy series, which is the Skip Barber open wheel car, and that is a lot of fun too. Um, <clears throat> so. If you were to do those series, and we'll take, I'll show you here in a second when I get into the, um, we're going to take a look at the iRacing uh, menus. Now, this video is not for people that already are into iRacing. This is for uh, brand new people that might be interested in jumping into iRacing. Again, because it's had all the TV coverage and everything else. That's who this video is for. And I think, you know, if somebody would explain this to me, maybe it might have helped. But okay, so avoid buying content. Just pay your $55, come on in and try it out. Um, in my opinion, I think it's worth it. But you're gonna have to start out with the rookie class to earn your license anyway. But you can, you can do it, uh, the rookies, like I said, the Mazda, you can do the open wheelers with the Skip Barber. You can do some NASCAR stuff. Um, and you can do the dirt stuff too. So there, there are tracks and cars that you guys can get that shouldn't cost you any additional money to get your feet wet. And that should be enough to keep you busy. And again, this is not a game. This is not where you just want all the content up front. That's not how it works. Think of it as a service. And you're only gonna get out of the service uh, what, you, um, what, what you try to get out of the service. So, if, again, if you want to just come out here and race every, every car they have, that's not what this is for. You're, you're wasting your time. You guys will go somewhere else. But if you want to come out and create a career and earn a license, and, I mean, I have so much fun just racing with other people. Um, that is my main drive when I play a racing game. I don't want to race the AI. I have no interest in racing offline or doing any of that stuff. I want to race against real people all the time so if that motivates you and again I don't win hardly at all but that's not where my focus is I I enjoy the racing I enjoy learning the race craft I you know it it's very rewarding for me when I'm trying to work up my license or my I rating or my safety rating so again you you gotta change your focus a little bit and just like Netflix right or some other HBO or Disney Plus or any of those service type things um, you know if you're paying ten dollars a month for Netflix well it's only worth it if you're watching Netflix so again this iRacing service is only worth it if you're coming out and you're racing uh, seasons or um, we also have at the Simpit we have our own uh, series that we run and I'll show all that here in a second but again you're only going to get out of it what you commit to and again I find it very rewarding not only do I run um, several different season uh, series per season I also run in the sim pit and um, also run with uh, Devin Booth of uh, logically gaming so you know but that's part of what you're going to get out of this um, sim is if you get involved with the way that it's meant to be and again you have to show courtesy these are real people on the track with you uh, you know you want to you want to race well and again I like I just enjoy working on the race craft I'm learning so much and that's another thing if you if you're new to iRacing I cannot recommend this enough. You need to get into a group, uh, say the Simpit, all right? If you wanna join the Simpit, uh, our Discord is now open, um, but you wanna come in and there, we have tons of people that can help you. I would have been totally lost had it not been for the Simpit. Um, so again, I would recommend that if you wanna get the most out of this, you need to find a group to race with. And we race our, we have a NASCAR series every Friday night 
We have a road series Sundays, which I'm at work that day, so I don't get to take part in that one. Um, we usually have a Mustang uh, race series on Tuesdays, and um, there's also a dirt oval series uh, that Billy Strange and the Sid Pit are doing together on Tuesdays. But the point is, and that, that's, that's not even all of it, we also have um, the Sim Pit, if you're a Patreon member, we have, you've probably seen, if you've, if you've gone to, uh, you know, watch Sean Cole, he hosts once a month for the Patreon, and it's usually in iRacing, but not necessarily all the time. I think the next one we're going to be doing is in ACC. So, again, I just really like the way that iRacing structures their online events, and it's, it's really something to get involved in. But again, if you're not interested in that, if you just want to race uh, different cars, then this sim is not for you. Anyway, so let's, um, I'm going to get out of this replay and let's take a look at some of the menu. Okay, so here's what I was talking about. So if I were getting into it brand new, I would sign up for the one year at $55. And again, you see the regular price is $110 for a year but there's usually discounted on Black Friday. Now it's not guaranteed to be discounted, but it has been for me ever since I've joined. So I normally get another year every Black Friday. Now if, if the discount is really good, I might buy two years on Black Friday because I just enjoy iRacing that much. So I wanna continue my subscription. Now, if you choose to cancel, you won't have access to all the stuff that you bought. So if I bought, you know, several cars and tracks over the course of a season, that it's not necessarily gone. Um, if you renew your subscription, it'll be there for you, but you won't be able to race the stuff that you bought. So you need to know that going in. Okay, so now we're going to look at, um, let's go to the paint shop. This is one of my biggest uh, pet peeves about sim games. Um, is the fact that you know say race room you have to buy your your paint schemes and before you guys write in the comments yes I already know that you can um, import uh, stuff same same thing with the Seto Corso I mean there's a, a way that you can paint your own car so I know that that stuff is out there and actually iRacing has that too but um, in the in the trading paints app they have where if you want a say if you want a real NASCAR paint scheme uh, you can probably find it on trading paints and I have trading paints on here and it loads up automatically so if I'm racing against people that have uh, their paint scheme from trading paints it'll be populated in my race um, but I tend to use the paint schemes that they have here and it's real simple um, so we have a, a radical race coming up, and I've kind of, um, uh, it's going to be for the Simpit Patreon. Um, let me find it here. So I've kind of been going with this um, red, blue, and yellow paint scheme for the Arizona flag. So if I take this car, and I can paint it, you know, basically however I want. Um, so we'll do that yellow and then we'll do um, red and blue okay so real quick that's the basic paint job here um, I can pick my preferred number now this is for when you're racing um, in a league environment because when you go into a um, a regular race, they assign you um, a number on your car where they think or where you're rated to finish. So know that going in. So if you join a race and your car number is 20, then that's where the system thinks that you're going to finish. So if you finish higher than that, you're going to increase your I rating. That's basically how it works as, as far as I understand. But okay, so I just painted my car really simple here. And you can pick, you know, your sponsors. I have the Sim Pit and Thrustmaster, and I can also I can pick a different paint scheme if I want a different scheme, um, 
and again, kind of looking for something that looks like the Arizona flag. Um, I don't know, kind of the one I had on there is good. But you can you can see how you you know you can try out all these different paint schemes, and that's just that's given to you. And I I wish all Sims would do this. Let me pick my paint for my car, and let me pick my number for my car. Now, the other thing uh, I want to point out real quick is when you go to race in iRacing, you are locked to the cockpit view. Okay, you can move your seat around a little bit. There's ways to do that, but everybody is racing from the cockpit view. And that is one of my great gripes about other sims is you don't know if people are racing from the chase cam. And, you know, I come from a background of Forza and I started out racing from the, the chase cam and it took me a while to get comfortable inside the car. But if immersion is what you're looking for and an even playing field is what you're looking for I feel like it's you know iRacing is probably the closest and there's always people to race against assuming you pick the cars that are popular so I have had um, some of the spec racer Ford races that were you know maybe five people I, you need six to make it an official so um, yeah if you're picking a car that's not popular you're, you may end up with not enough people at the time that you want to race. It doesn't mean that there aren't enough people at different times. So, but if you're running the Mazda or the Skip Barber car or, you know, GT3, there's tons of people. Um, and everyone gets divided into different splits based on their I rating. Okay, so that's one of the, the greatest things about iRacing is that I know everybody is racing from the cockpit view. And that's important to me. All right, so I'm going to show. Um, so this is my profile up here in the top right. So I've been basically I do road racing, and this is the oval, and I'm a class A license in both of those. Now the rookie, um, I haven't done any of the dirt oval. I've done uh, some dirt road, but. I have a D class there and then a rookie. I've never done any of the dirt oval. But these were the four disciplines that I was talking about. Um, if I go in here to my profile, um, it basically shows my licenses here, my stats. Uh, if I go to the road, which is what I mainly do, you can see um, you know, it, how it tracks me. And a lot of these dips are when I got new uh, pedals or something like that and it took me a little while to get used to it um, but you can see here that I started back in August of 2018 and I haven't been doing too well in the last couple races but uh, in my defense I keep getting put in the top split and those guys are really fast but anyway enough about me this basically shows you I've had six wins in the road I've had two in the dirt road so I don't win that much I've raced 285 uh, races and I've only won six of them so again if you think you're gonna come out here and dominate it's highly unlikely um, this should be a learning uh, sim it's a service again your your focus should be on being a good competitor and increasing your safety rating and your I rating and working your way up it's it's lots of fun but you got to come at it at the right um, mindset Okay, so the next thing we're going to look at is leagues. And like I said, you want to join some leagues. So here's the Simpit Oval Series. Um, that's a ton of fun. Uh, the Simpit Mustang, the Simpit Skippy, the Simpit Truck Series. So we've had different series. Um, not all the ones I've been in are showing here. Um, but there are tons of leagues uh, to choose from. And again, you want to get in with a group of people that you can get in Discord and talk with. The other thing too is you don't need Discord. You can communicate. Uh, it has a push to talk button in here and you can talk to people that are out on the track with you. That's another thing that all, I think all racing games should have because it's just nice to have that communication. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna look at is the hosted series. Um, now these are, are people that have, um, that just put up races for their community or other things. So. 
Um, here's David Sampson. If you guys don't know him, he's a good guy. Um, but he has the, a hump day practice session open here and it's locked. You have to have a password. But, you know, some of these things are open. So you can just jump in and, um, and play with people that are, uh, whether it be just having a practice session or they're just looking for people to race. So you could host your own race, set up your own parameters and do whatever you want here. That's the hosted section. Hold on a minute. Let me move myself out of the way here. Okay, so if I go up here to go racing, right, and the two series that I'm doing, so I have this filtered down so I can see, um, but if these are all the races that are coming up next, this is how many people are in them. Um, but if I go here to the current series, these are all the series that are, are going right now. And then I've starred the ones that I'm interested in. So it allows me to sort these straight to the top. I'm doing the Advanced Mazda Cup Series, and I'm also doing the Skip Barber Series. Um, but I can, I can look here at the series. And this one basically um, kicks off every two hours. So there's a race at 7.15, there's one at 9.15, 11.15, and these are how many people that are lined up for that race. Um, but again, you just click to register and then you click to join. You jump into a 30 minute practice before the race starts. So um, let's say this race here that starts at 7.15, at 6.45 my time, I would be able to jump in to the practice for that room and it gives me 30 minutes to jump in there and set up my car make sure that everything is set correctly do a couple test laps um, sometimes you can people you can ask people for a setup if you're an open setup race because they have open setups they have fixed setups but if you're an open open setup race you can ask if somebody has a setup for you there's other ways to get setups but you know sometimes people will give you a setup anyway so then at 7.15, there'll be a little um, you know, notification to click for the race, and you click that, then you jump in. Usually you have eight minutes to do two qualifying laps, and then the race kicks off. But yeah, it's just, I love, I love the way it's set up. And again, I feel like it's as fair as it can be. Um, now, every game has hacks and everything else, but I, I believe that the majority of the people uh, in iRacing are legit and um, I really feel like um, you know people are here to race and race cleanly and race fairly in my opinion um, but again this is some of the best online racing that I've ever had in any game okay so here is the schedule so if I were in rookie I would pull this up and it tells me all the tracks that are in a season okay and if you don't own one then you'd have to buy it but I'm pretty sure in the rookie class all the tracks are free so you shouldn't have to buy any car or any track for the Mazda rookie season um, now there are 12 weeks per season but only eight count as far as I understand it so Basically, if you're unavailable for a week, it's not going to impact you too much. That would just be a drop race, and you would have 11, but it only counts the best eight. And that's when you go into uh, your standings. Okay, so here we are, and we'll look at the standings. So this is uh, Season 1 of 2021. I'm in Division 3 here, and... Right now, I'm sitting at 39 in Division Three, um, and again, this will this will only count up to uh, eight weeks. But this is where I gauge myself: is how well am I doing against everybody else that's in my division? Now, I could look at all divisions and see where I stack up against everybody. And that puts me at a ranking of 136. But this is this is what I do as far as my seasons go, is I go out and I compete, and I'm trying to get the highest I can on the board, and increase my um, rating. 
Oh, one of the other things that I forgot is this also in iRacing service has great multi-class racing. So I've done this one, the SimLab production car challenge in the past, um, but it's basically the Mustang, the Jetta, the Mazda, and the Pontiac Solstice. And this is a ton of fun and a great learning tool for racing with uh, other cars of different classes on the track with you. Um, I highly recommend doing this um, again in the fastest car that's available because it, it really uh, teaches you how to pass slower vehicles and also running as a slower, you know, the slowest. I've run this with the Pontiac Solstice also because it's just great to know, you know, how to maneuver your car when you're dealing with everyone else that's faster than you. So multi-class racing, um, just outstanding. Um, the other thing, like I said, if you're into NASCAR, it, you know, it has all the flags and the rules. It's just really good stuff. Now, I haven't really done the dirt oval stuff, so I can't really speak on that. But um, also the, you know, the trucks, uh, uh, off-road trucks, they're a lot of fun also. Not necessarily my cup of tea. I don't really race that online. Um, I have done a couple, but uh, no, I'm not really into the, uh, the off-road and dirt stuff. For that, I like Dirt Rally 2.0, which is another series that I run with the Sim Pit. But anyway, yeah, so, you know, to boil it all down, I guess what I'm trying to say is it's a great time to jump into iRacing. Even if you don't like it, at minimum, you can spend $55 to find out if you do. And... Why not stop by the Sim Pit, jump in our Discord, and if you have any questions, there are tons of people there that would help you out. And the, being the Sim Pit, we're, we're, we have people all over the world. So I'm sure somebody would be in your time zone and would be available to answer any questions you might have. Um, the other thing, too, is join us. Uh, you can join our, our NASCAR League or our Road Racing League. You know if those times work out for you even if they don't uh, you know if you really find something you enjoy maybe you start your own league and um, or get involved in another group that might have something that you're interested in but um, I am glad I jumped into iRacing um, there were several times when I would do five or six series per season so you know I'm only doing two right now um, but that has to do with more time constraints on me than anything else. Um, anyway, thanks for listening, and I really appreciate everyone out there. And, um, yeah, it's going to be a great year. Jump in iRacing, and let's do some racing.